Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Cardano chart and the Bitcoin chart. Today, 10% loss for Cardano at the moment. Temporarily, it was much more and I'm really happy. Um, not because the prices are dropping, but well, actually, yeah, because that scenario that I've been talking about for, for weeks, for what I was criticized as well, has finally played out on the Cardano chart. We're going to get into that. And basically, Cardano hit exactly my price target um, today, about which I've talked for weeks really so let's get there so we start with bitcoin bitcoin i made a video yesterday about a drop that's coming now that has maybe started now yesterday on the chart i showed you that um, abc correction I, I made a specific bitcoin video about that because uh you know it looked like we we're making a, high, a lower high here we had that head and shoulders pattern here which i showed you yesterday as well so things coming together here you know the failure of making a, a higher high for bitcoin um, the losing momentum that we saw on the RSI, I've talked about that as well. What else? Um, and basically that correction here, which took longer than you would normally expect it to see in an uptrend. So I've talked about that as well. And I've talked about the fact that we've started to see here a five point or five wave correction to the downside on a small scale. So that indicated a first trend um, direction change at least in the short term so you've got a one two three four and a five here to the downside so these five waves indicate you know if we have a wife five wave structure into any direction that indicates that is where the trend is going at the moment and this turned around from a trend to the upside to a trend of the for the downside now on a larger scale we are still in an uptrend which is why you get then you can basically say okay that first five wave move to the downside that will be part of a larger three abc um, three wave abc correction yeah and i talked about that yesterday as well so we have completed possibly that wave a i said yesterday we could come in a wave b to the upside we could come even up to the all-time high again now that hasn't happened really so we are only really like we only touched like the 64k level or 63.5k what could be is that we're actually running again once more up to that um, all-time high level that is still a possibility at the moment it's looking like that is wave a here that might have actually already been wave b and that what we've seen today possibly not completed yet that could lead us into that target box and that target box as i said yesterday i showed it to you in the bitcoin video won't go into much detail that is sitting basically between between the 0.5 um, and the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level. Th these are the levels between 54, 54k and 57k that I would expect. And that would basically, based on the Elite Wave method, that C wave will be completed within somewhere around 55, 56k, I would say. Um, the, the question is, you know, have we already seen, is that the wave C? Is that the wave C? Is that just going to continue like that? Or... Do we get something more complex and was that maybe here not wave a is that wave a will we come back once more to near all-time high levels before we then come down in a wave c before we then continue our move up to new all-time highs okay because that is a bullish scenario still yeah it would only become really bearish and then we'd have to talk about other scenarios if we drop below 50 53.5 54k yeah, then, then we have to talk about a larger sell-off potentially. But at the moment, this is a bullish scenario because it would play out very nicely in ABC. Um, and then we can continue after that, our larger wave. Um, I believe that would be wave four or five then to the upside here. I think it's a wave five to the upside. Um, and that would then take us to the all-time highs. And that would possibly conclude this year's Bitcoin bull run possibly um, and could take us as I said to, to maybe 100k now this here is currently playing out as I said the, the question for me is now was that the A already here at the left hand side or is that now the A because um, it it doesn't look like it's been the, the C at least the C if that was the C it hasn't completed yet because we haven't come into that target range you normally come into these target ranges so obviously quite a big of a drop today but not unexpected i made a video on that yesterday so cardano and i love it because it is finally doing what i've been saying for weeks i've been saying that i think since we've been 
here for four or five weeks ago i think i started talking about that scenario that was before we completed this move here i don't know if some of the older subscribers older subscribers some of the, the guys who've been with me for a longer period you will know that when we were here making that head and shoulders i gave you a target already of that 181 level and that we come down once more now we didn't come down far enough back then because we didn't come to that 181 level i've been talking up here about the 181 level we haven't touched it we have only managed to get to 190 and i strongly believe because you know the elite wave method has worked for me very well in the past to predict price moves and possible turnarounds um, i strongly believe because we haven't hit that target level there we have not managed to build that strong move to the upside that some other cryptos have built so that is why we over the last few weeks have seen that move between the 0.5 and the 0.382 Fibonacci retracement level. You can see that here very clearly on the chart. Now, at the time, I believed that we had, oops, that we had seen an A here, a move B to the upside here. And I always talked about a wave C to the downside that would still be coming. And I talked about um, the wave the, that we needed to touch the 181 at least. Um, with that being the higher level, you know, the upper, sort of the upper level, I would have loved to see a little bit of a, you know, at least 181, maybe a little bit lower. And I did say that back then. So when I showed you that, however, we didn't touch that. I said, you know, another drop will be coming, but it didn't come until today. So I've always had it on my charts. I always kept that chart prepared. I showed it from time to time. Um, so based on that, then this would have been the A here. No, sorry. This would have been the A then. We would have come up in, in another B and this is the C, I guess. At least this is still the C that we've been waiting for. No, actually, this is still the play here. A, B, and then this is the C. Possibly, yeah. So we have hit pretty much exactly that 181 level. Now, we've come down to 181.7. That's for me is close enough. Um, and we didn't find support on the 200 day moving average. No, we found support exactly at that point. Um, 618 Fibonacci retracement level here at 181. Because we've stopped above the 200, quite, quite far above the 200 day moving average. Now, was that it? Can we continue, as I've said for weeks, can we continue from here our wave, um, wave three to the upside? Well, we need to see, I think, what Bitcoin is doing, because if we consider that Cardano, to a certain extent, is following Bitcoin, and if Bitcoin hasn't completed that, Bitcoin isn't in the target level yet. So if we assume that Bitcoin maybe comes up once more to the upside and then comes down or comes down straight away into that level here, I would assume that Cardano hasn't seen the worst yet. So Cardano could still, and I did mention it in previous videos quite often, we could still come out all the way down to that Fibonacci retracement level here, which is the 0.786 which is at 145. So somewhere in that range, we could still come back into. That would still be part of a bullish scenario from which we could then come all the way up to levels of 450 at least. And I've been saying this target, uh, well, I, I've been talking about this target as well, but only after a wave C. And that could have been the, the wave C now. We've hit the target, but is it over yet? That's the question. Or will the wave C in another move to the downside come down even far uh, further? So that remains to be seen because Bitcoin, in my view, hasn't seen the worst yet. So I would rather say that either we come back down to that level once more or come down even lower. That's for me the most likely scenario at the moment. But I'm glad that this is playing out because I've been saying for weeks that this we need to see lower prices for Cardano for us to build more buying interest build that momentum from from scratch again because here we were just caught and didn't really move and um, it also quite well worked out with that triangle pattern out of which we now broke out and for that i go to the other chart on the kraken website here i had that triangle and we you know we knew that um we knew that we didn't have much more space in that in that triangle here and maybe that worked out in the end then, which with that A, B, C, D, E pattern that I had on the chart for a couple of weeks as well, where it normally plays out that if you have the E here on the opposite side, you, are, you come out of that triangle. So I did show you that as well in various videos in the past few weeks. A, B, C, D, E is basically that sideways range pattern 
um, triangle pattern within the elite wave method and that ABC is a larger scale um, correction um, pattern which l runs on a higher level you know you still have your ABC correction pattern playing out here and in a smaller scale you've got that ABCDE within the triangle and you know if you if you are not familiar with Elliott waves this can all get quite complicated but um, overall it has played out um, quite happy with with that I know a lot of people will be pissed off because the price dropped further but the whole market crashed but um, I talked about it yesterday I talked about prepare for that and one way of preparing would have been to leave some money aside because you never know if the drop if the drop really happens because nothing is guaranteed in financial markets but if you can expect something like that then you leave some money on the um, on the side or some funds on the side that you can jump in when the price drops so that allowed me to buy the dip today and the people in the uh, the members in the membership group will will know that um right i think that's it i'm quite happy good day um because not because we dropped but because that scenario is playing out it is finally playing out and that is what cardano needed in my view i think every cardano holder should actually be even though it sounds a bit stupid now but every cardano holder should be looking forward now that in the near future we can see further moves to the upside that's what i expect but as i said in the short term it is uncertain in the short term we might see a little bit further price drops yeah um, it's normal that after such a strong down move here we have now recovered again nearly to two dollar level that is normal after a strong move down you always recover you did that here as well you did that here as well when we dropped um first time here in that flash crash you always get these recoveries that is normal but that doesn't mean that we um it, it could you know we could move on for another few days or a couple of weeks now even um sideways and drop once more that is all possible also the bitcoin correction here might take a few days um after the initial shock and surprise is over but as i said it wasn't entirely a surprise i've been talking about that for a few days now and yesterday specifically i made a bitcoin video exactly about that um, scenario all right so that's pretty much on cardano um hope you liked that video if you did please smash the like button and if you want to follow me on this crypto journey please subscribe and if you really uh, love the content it would be great to have you on board as a channel member maybe check out the membership page and uh, we've got a live chat going on as well where i share my thoughts all the time thanks a lot for watching bye bye